Hello and welcome back to my channel, MKC Electronics. Uh, today I will be unboxing uh, something that I bought for myself to make me happy. And it is the PlayStation Portal. So I bought PlayStation Portal from Sony with the screen protector. And I'm seeing that first time as you, you as you guys would do with me. I've never seen that before, just on videos. So I should have a fresh eyes and impressions on it. Well, <clears throat> from uh, outside I can see the box. It's a uh, classic PlayStation Sony uh, packaging, yeah, as you got on this generation PS5. And uh, nothing, nothing special. No, nothing, nothing special on that. It's just standard Sony packaging. So without further ado, let's open that. And we'll do sliding. Well, we'll just slide it out. Okay. So it's out. I got a small pull tag here. I'm not sure what is that for, but that is probably for reason. Oh, you can let it slide. All right, so that's out. And here's the cutout corner. So we'll lift that from here. Ta -da! You can see here is some accessories in this in this part. So open that. Okay. And it's your Type C to Type C charging cable. No charging brake, obviously. Is that the that's the new trend? Apparently, <clears throat> safe on packaging. But I think they could have they could have fit here some low profile adapter anyway if they did want to. All right, so let's go uh, to the device. Let's put that aside, let's see if there is anything under, if there is anything under, and that is, and this one is empty, and we got our PlayStation manual, some small card, it's com system of compliance, I don't know what that is, but I uh, don't need that, right. Let's set these ones aside. And here is the device itself. Ta -da. Okay. So first impressions. Yeah. It's like holding PS5 controller. Literally one to one. It's just you have your hands more apart. But otherwise it's this is PS5 controller. The PlayStation button is on the left and the mute button on the right. Your option button and menu button. Okay. Can look at that. And uh, here is probably mic on the bottom. Here is your power power button. Uh, I believe this is the, the sync button. Volume rockers, speakers. Just not sure where is the charging. Oh, here is the charging. And for I think that's a 3.5 mil audio output for headphones. Okay. Let's pull this off. And let's put a screen protector straight away on it. Yeah, I'll put the screen protector. Uh, I bought that from Argos and Argos did uh, deal on the screen protector to come with it so let's see you don't have much on it not much debris on it so i will not hit it with the wet wipe i will just take it uh, with the with the uh, sticker i got a dust removal stickers there as you get with any screen protector uh, it's called dust absorber. Let's do this. Let's do that. Okay, that seems dust free. 
Let's see this thing. Peel the back. Peel it. And I believe you just set it, set this one on. That should do the trick. There we go. You have one that spec there, two that specs. Mm, not happy. And I did went all over that. See, I have to do two that specs now there. Oh. Oh, never mind. It's protected. Probably not even visible when I turn it on. I will get a new one when I when I had a chance. Just to be perfect. But better than nothing, better than have a bare screen. And now we can hit the power button. If it's charged though. And it is. Let's take it's time for sure. The first boot. There we go. So we are welcomed with the classic PlayStation menu. Where you can select your language. We have United Kingdom, Network Found, Network Founds, and uh, it did found my Wi-Fi, so I will put the Wi-Fi code in, right, the Wi-Fi is in, update the system software for the PlayStation Portal remote, okay, so I will hit the I agree now, because before I scroll and it did go grey for some reason, confirm, so it's installing the update, I should have bike carriers with it as well. But from what I heard, it should, should be better now for using outside because they did allow to use uh, public uh, networks, public Wi Fi, like from McDonald's, Starbucks, and whatnot. But it's uh, in order to have a good experience, you need to have a good Wi Fi connection for sure. Well, if, if I will be out and about with it, so from my home, my PlayStation 5 is connected by, by, via wire and I have a one gigabyte up, one gigabyte down speeds, uh, internet speeds. So it shouldn't be problem from that side. It depends what kind of uh, connection I will get into here when I'm outside. And I will see, I will try to, I will try to use it outside. But uh, mainly I bought that because uh, our primary TV is always so uh, occupied by kids so <clears throat> I can basically sit on the sofa play this and at the same time I have one eye on the kids I think that's a good device that's a good device for me I take it for what it is it's not cloud streaming thing it's not cloud streaming device it's not steam deck it's not anything like that it's remote play for a PlayStation that's what it is it's a it's a controller with the screen and it is certainly taking its time because I'm on Wi-Fi and I'm sitting, uh, I'm sitting in my conservatory and that's all metal construction. So the Wi-Fi here is a little bit poor quality. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably take it closer to the to the Wi-Fi. I'll take it out from here so it's get better signal. Right, so I'm back. The update is just finished. It's resetting now. Well, in the meantime, I will turn on the PlayStation. Give it the best chance for connectivity. Okay, so my PS5 is on. And it's still updating. Updating the PS Link device software. Okay. One thing what I wanna say, the weight, it feels like you have a, you're holding two controllers in hand. That's what I would describe it as.
Right, that's the second update done. I believe we will have a restart again. It's got good viewing angles though. Okay, here we are with our PlayStation sign in. Scan the QR code. You can also sign in on PlayStation app by going to settings, console management. All right, so I'm gonna sign in and now I'm gonna and be back. Right, we are logged in. And I was asking, pair with your PS5. I'll select my PS5. Allow connection to PS5 required. Turn your PS5, I believe that's allowed. Get, go to the quick menu to easily change settings. I don't want to be changing anything. Press the circle button to skip. Oh, okay. Success, your order is set to go. Ready to go. And there we go. Obviously, you need to be uh, on your PS5, you need to allow uh, a remote play, which I have. So I'm hoping it will just connect. If not, then I need to go like special connection between this, what it was describing there. Ready to play. There we go. And we are at my PlayStation desktop. And now I'm ready to go. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.